there was a good response to part one, so I thought I'd do a follow-up video going into a bit more detail as to the station I used. I'm using the usual over-the-shoulder bag I use to carry the FT817 for when I go HF pedestrian mobile. But unlike with the Wade Tenor, no backpack is required. The FT817, which receives the signal on two meters. To the right is the external battery pack. Though, if you've got internal batteries for the 817, you don't need it since you're just receiving. For the transmitter, I'm using this Pofung UV82 with its standard rubber ducky antenna. I've programmed in the memory channels so that it goes to UHF when you transmit. Five channels at various offsets that allows you to account for Doppler. They're on the frequencies that you can find on the AMSAT website. I'm not actually using it to receive on two meters because that's what the FT817 is for, plus the antenna here. The dipole, you've seen it in previous videos, it's just made out of TV rabbit's ears. There are times when you're getting best reception from the satellite, when this is in an unexpected position, and also when the angle of these is not 180 degrees. And here we've just got some RG58 coax that goes between the FT817 and the handheld dipole. Thank you, that's it. 
satellite pass it's fairly high at 65 degrees the satellite is rising around there to the south and is going up at about this high and setting down around there just north of west I'm a bit lacking on the receive antenna gain. Ideally, you'd be using a small Yagi, but if you've got a good satellite pass and a clear view of the horizon, then you'll be able to hear the satellite over a large proportion of its pass. But with the handheld, as I was only on the low power setting and the standard antenna wouldn't be all that good, I could probably only access it for less than five minutes of that. So if I was going to improve the satellite station, then the transmit side would be the priority. You only do that when you've got a good receiving setup for the satellite, because if you cannot hear the satellite, then you can't communicate through it. I've spoken about amateur satellites, but there's many other facets of amateur radio out there. If you want to know more about them, have a look at my latest ebook.
you can read it on your Kindle or other device, and you can get it from Amazon for $5 US or equivalent in other currencies.